Saint John Baptist de La Salle is a French priest, educational reformer. His feast day is on April 7. This date was transferred by Pope Paul VI. He is also known as the patron saint of Christian teachers, the founder of De La Salle schools and FSC, the Fratres Scolarum Christianarum or the Brothers of the Christian Schools. He is also known as the father of modern pedagogy. Let us know more about De La Salle, starting with his family background. He is the eldest among the seven siblings. His father is Louis de La Salle, a magistrate of the court and a middle-class citizen. His mother is Nicole Moe de Berlin, belongs to a noble family in Reims. And now, let us proceed to the significant events in the life of St. John Baptist de La Salle. He was born on April 30, 1651, in Reims, France. At the age of 11, he received the clerical tonsure, also known as ritual clipping of the hair of a religious. At the age of 16, he was installed as the canon of Reims Cathedral. July 10, 1669, he took the degree of Master of Arts at College of Desbonds Infants. He graduated as summa cum laude. Wow! October 18, 1670, he went to Paris and entered the seminary of St. Sulpice. A year after, he received a letter that contains his mother has passed away. And a year after that, he received another letter that says his father also passed away. April 19, 1672, he left the seminary. He was 21 years old when he took the responsibility to educate his four brothers and two sisters. Four of his siblings also entered the religious life. Two became priests, one is none, and the other one is a monk. After taking care of his siblings, De La Salle was advised by his spiritual director, Father Nicholas Rowland, to go back in the seminary. And finally, at the age of 26, De La Salle became a priest. Two years after that, he also received his doctorate in theology. Another challenge in the life of De La Salle, when his spiritual director, Father Nicholas Roland, died, the founder of the Sisters of the Child Jesus Congregation. De La Salle took over his place as chaplain and confessor of the sisters. March 15, 1679, he met Adrian Yell at the door of the convent of the Sisters of Child Jesus. Adrian Yell asked De La Salle to establish school for boys. In 1681, he brought the teachers to his home to live with him and trained them how to become a better teacher. In 1685, De La Salle founded the first normal school whose purpose is to train teachers in Rems, France. The life of De La Salle was not easy. It's full of challenges. He even experienced this period of crisis. The death of brother Henry and the abandonment of brothers. It came to a point that there is a rebellion of the brothers or the teachers that he trained. He even had this crisis against church authorities because of his mission. He also had this crisis against the writing masters or the teachers in his time. They accused De La Salle of stealing their livelihood. Even the parents, 
they accused the Lasal of corrupting minors. To counter these challenges, the Lasal and two other brothers made a heroic vow. Together with him is Gabriel Drulin and Nicolas Boyard. Their heroic vow is also known as the vow of association that no matter what happened, they will continue their mission. It came to a point in the life of De La Salle that he abandoned his brothers and went to Parmini and pondered if this mission is still worth fighting for. In darkness, there's always light. That's why Nicolas Voyard and Gabriel Drulin went to Parmini and reminded De La Salle of their hero. De La Salle, together with his brothers, continued his mission for the rest of his life.